Naturally, of the three of you, you're the one I encounter first. You know about us? Did Mitsuru Kirijo not inform you? I don't merely know about you. I was there at the airport. The Kirijo group seems rather lax for a multinational corporation, allowing a machine to act autonomously and take command. <sighs> to be frank, watching you fills me with pity. Perhaps the kindest thing to do would be to give you a merciful end. Pity? Your existence is inherently a deception, isn't it? You're a machine, and a weapon on top of that. Yet you look human. Those who meet you think you're human. You even seem to believe it yourself. Truly pitiful. You were built to consider yourself human in order to activate the ability to wield a persona. Your appearance and your heart are only prerequisites for that power. I'm sure you've realized it already. You will never find the means to cross the gap between the human heart and your mechanical frame. No matter how much you want love, you'll never earn it. At best, people grow fond of you. I... The more I consider the matter, the more I genuinely pity you. I'd best hurry up and put an end to your pathetic life. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The mastermind behind this tournament may have some means of fogging our senses. Were you suspecting that as well? Yes. Then we are in agreement. Its aim appears to be to make friends fight one another. Though it's a mystery to me as to why it would do such a thing. But the battle is over and the interference has been lifted. Given past examples, the pattern is clear. How about it? Why don't we talk things over? I am Naoto Shiragane. I work as a detective. I agreed to act as an observer for the police regarding the special cargo, met with Kurijo-san beforehand, and accompanied her to the airport. So that's how you knew about us. I recall seeing you in the introductory video along with the other competitors. They're good friends of mine. I attend Yasogami High, the same school as them. I see. 
So after you finished your business and returned to your hometown, that video appeared on TV. Is that correct? That's right. At least that's what I should say if I wanted to feign innocence. What? The real reason I came here is because I was tailing you. It was for a secret investigation. For who? Naturally, I cannot reveal my client or what their aims are, but I'm sure you have your own secrets to keep. What do you think? As long as we're in the same boat, why not cooperate? I see. It would not be wise to continue to stand in each other's way in this situation. How much do you know about this world? Your friend told me it's a realm formed by human thought. In which case... This place varies according to people's mental state. When someone enters it directly, they have a much stronger effect on it. For a normal person with no persona-based resistances, a dangerous situation will arise where their shadow goes berserk. That happened frequently in the case I was involved with last year. This false school may have something to do with it. I assume you have a theory already? Yes. Thank you very much. I believe I'm slowly starting to understand what's going on. Would you mind telling me something? Why did you tell me about your secret agenda? I suppose because it wouldn't be fair otherwise. Given that I cannot leave here and must trust my friend's fate to you, it would be unfair to continue deceiving you. But not only that, you carry out your duties with little care for your true appearance. You and I are not on equal grounds there. My true appearance? Consider it a sign of my respect for that. <laughs> I still seem to have a soft spot. Aigasan, I ask only one thing of you. Please save my friends. That is my intention. Thank you. I'll wait here secure in knowing that. Curious though, when you refer to your true appearance, do you mean the fact that you are a woman? What? Am I mistaken? Oh, um, well... Your clothing hides it, but my sensor scan shows the body measurements of a human with female proportions. What do you mean? How much can you see? and move on to the next! Would you like to know your current measurements? From top to bottom, they are... <laughs> That's quite all right! Uh, never mind, little old me! Please, finish that line of thought! I demand it! How do we get so off-subject? If you're going to go, please hurry and leave! Girl from before. What are you doing here? Ain't it obvious? I'm cleaning up the classroom. 
It's no picnic, what with people running wild and wrecking things. I guess this is all in a day's work for a student council president. We'll look back on it and laugh, right? You seem like you're having fun. <laughs> That's because I love my school. Even the chores are fun for me. The reason I wanted to be president is because of that. Oh, it can be rough when things get out of hand like this. But it's dangerous here. You must leave at once. Won't you come with me? What? You're worried about me? Hey. <laughs> I'm the president, and you might not think so to look at me, but I ain't no slouch in a fight. I'll be fine. No, that's not what I mean. Um... Your clothes are pretty out there, but I can see you mean well. Thanks. Some of these students won't listen to a word I say, but I feel like I gotta be here. No. I want to be here, even if it puts you in danger. You're really a drama queen, aren't you? Who's to say I'm in danger for sure? Besides, even if you're right, I'd want to stay here. I always wanted to go to school with everyone, just like normal. That's all. Does that imply you couldn't do so before? <laughs> You're asking me that now? Honestly? Back then, I... Huh? What's wrong? Weird. The past... I... <gasps> How come it's... I'm not feeling so good all of a sudden. Labrys' memories? What was that just now? <gasps> 